Hello everybody, this is Astocky here. Welcome to another episode of my Let's Play of the HeroCraft pack. Uh, you'll have to bear with me if things sound a little bit different at the moment. I have... Oops. I have just today received a new microphone headset. So, the volume levels are... kind of funky. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure exactly what the levels need to be. But I'm going to record now anyway, and hopefully things will work out for the best. Uh, now we'll put two of those in. So we're doing seven, eight of those. Sort my inventory, sort that out. Okay, we need to obviously fix that iron ore up. So that's going to need coal. We'll do just fine. Time to check on my research. How are we doing? 22 plus 1 fragment of forbidden. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So yes, I need these aqueous and tainted. wonder if maybe I could just go for a bit of a wander with my pickaxe and see if I can't find myself something. This isn't actually what I had planned to do for this episode my out hmm whoa hey get away oh cool he burns I did not know you could hit him with the pick and do that got him um didn't work ok one more perfect Excellent. Aqueous crystals. Four more aqueous crystals should give me everything that I need, and I know that I still haven't lit this place up. I've got to do something. Need to do something about that. Uh, jump. Jump. Get out. Get out. But I wanted to try and get at least one more built. Prior to going and, and doing the next thing that I want to do. crafting table. At least I can run up and down these stairs really fast now, because not having a crafting table bothers me. <sighs> Get away. Stupid ice. Perfect. Actually, this is really perfect, because the next thing that I would like to build, which is a Thorncraft 2 device, is the axe of the stream. And that's going to require me to have more aqueous crystals. Come on. Uh, I was hoping for something good. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to build is two more fiery crystals. Wow. Because I already have four fiery crystals, so I'm going to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be something good, though, whatever it turns out to be. haven't really thought through it yet. Um, but the next device that I'm going to want to make is going to involve me needing a bunch of... Uh, clay or bricks. Oh, no it's not. Back that up a bit. I'm going to need sand and I'm going to need coal. Now for those of you following D. Wingett's HeroCraft Let's Play, you will probably know what I'm about to make. Because in a video that he uploaded yesterday, he made the same thing, so... Not wanting to, I guess, spoil it, but... If you watched his video, you'll know what I'm going to make. Um, it's a bit of an exploit, but it's not really more of an exploit than using this thing is, so... There we go. The other thing is, it's going to involve me travelling to the nether, and potentially doing some cool stuff in the nether, so it's, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be different, it's going to be fun. It's going to make cool use of some of my resources. Let's just make sure that I haven't got one of those yet. See? I knew I had one somewhere. So, wafers. Time to cook those wafers. And I know that I'm going to need way more redstone. Actually, you know what? I'm probably not. I'm thinking that that's going to be a good amount of wafers for what, I, what it is that I need to build. What I am going to need to build, though, is way more IC2 machines. And we need to build them really quickly. So, where is my iron? 
bag, in my bag, must be in my bag, there we go. So we need to cook uh, ah, Thorncraft Furnace. Let's put in, what do we need? We need lots. Um, maybe, maybe we don't need lots. I think all I need is a compressor. I think I can do that, so we need uh, 16 maybe and hopefully with this machine doing all its good stuff I should end up with now I'll put 16 in there, let's see how many we get out I'm liking the idea that that's going to produce a lot for me Whoop. got to stop doing that crazy jumping thing get those crystals out throw them in there cooking up plenty of fiery crystals getting plenty of depleted crystals the other thing that I would like to say for this episode, and you know, I haven't quite finished the episode yet, so it's, I guess I haven't strictly got there. So that 15 turned into 24. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, the next thing that I would like to say is that I'm actually not going to be here. I'm taking some holiday for 4th of July. And I mean, that by itself isn't a bad thing. But I'm also going to be away with work for the week after that. So the video that I'm posting tonight which is on the 3rd of July it's going to be close to two weeks before I do another video and I mean that's a bit of a bummer for me because I'm you know I would normally really enjoy playing Minecraft um, okay so the first thing I need is a compressor compressor so I need smooth stone and electronic circuit I didn't really do very much with equivalent exchange when I got started so hopefully I've got enough rubber um, I definitely have my rubber trees in the background, if I don't, and it doesn't look like I do. Where's my bag gone? Uh, I need to sort these things out, don't I? Um, yeah, it's not looking like I'm going to have enough, so let's... Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Tree tap time. Uh, phew, there we go. Gonna need two electronic circuits, I believe. Oh, you're just a pine tree, you're not an industrial craft tree. What about you guys? You guys must be. Well, I really haven't looked at this very much, have I? I guess I've been trying to focus on Thorncraft 2 rather than industrial craft, so if it wasn't for the fabulousness of this exploit, I probably wouldn't be even doing industrial craft right now. But I think those of you who haven't seen this exploit yet, and I believe uh, D Wingett got it from the Toff Man, and I believe the Toff Man got it from somebody else, so think of it as an exploit that's been passed down through the ages. And I actually did a Google on it, and it turns out that it's on the Technic forums as well. So, I mean, it appears to be everywhere, although I have no idea who first started with it. Really? Come on. There we go. So many I got now? Eight. Eight is perfect. Perfectly eightness. Because I'm going to throw that in here, and hopefully when I cook it... going to end up with more than eight coming out. Hopefully I'm going to come more than eight coming out. And actually I might just hang on to one of those. It's not doubling. That's okay though because take one of my bookshelves, actually take my two stacks of bookshelves and place a piece of resin in here and I think there we go. Um, that's probably enough for now. I don't really need a huge amount more of them. You never really know how many you're going to need though, so I might just, while we have plenty, just keep one and then run with the rest of them. How can I not have more resin than just one piece? That just is... I really have been neglecting industrial craft. This is just crazy.
No more tainted crystals, though. Oh, wow, look at that. Smashing into the earthen crystals and... Oh, Vs. Okay. Getting distracted. I'm here to make industrial craft stuff. Um, I wish I knew how many I put in. Come on, keep cooking, 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 cooking. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Perfect. 19. So that's definitely more than I put in. Um, what am I making? I'm first thing I'm going to make is an electronic circuit. Where'd my redstone go? So, electronic circuit. Copper, copper, copper. Heaps of copper. I'm sure I had a Philosopher's Stone somewhere too. The fact that I can't find my Philosopher's Stone, that was just... Well, I guess it just means I'm not looking hard enough, doesn't it? Snowball. Perfect. Didn't really want that in the first place. Okay, so, copper. And I'm going to need you, and you, and six smooth stone. Perfect. One compressor. Ah, man. Always the way, isn't it? Your thing that you really want doesn't fit where you really want it. Gonna have to totally fix that now. Because obviously just breaking the world is not an acceptable solution. So what have I got here? One piece of stone and one piece of cobble. Uh, one of these chests. Oh, what am I talking about? I've got a bag. I've got a bag that's just full of cobble. Perfect. And now I can throw down my compressor and Now I just need something to compress. And to compress something, I'm going to need some fuel. Where's my wood? I'm just going to throw all of my wood in there to make a bunch of charcoal. Hopefully it'll cook up and cook lots of charcoal for me. All I need is one piece though to get started. Come on. One piece. Perfect. Now this thing is going to produce heaps of power for me to get started with. uses 10 EU per tick and I think these machines just use a fraction of that so it's I mean it's going to be slow going obviously but it's definitely going to produce the amount that I'm going to need so I'm going to pause the the video for a moment I'm going to come back once I finish doing all those things that I need to do and I will be back when I'm ready to get going with the next machine so back soon okay so I've got somewhere I'm just grabbing the last piece of coal that's out now that that's finished and I've got my ah oh, I was thinking, that's been taking ages and hasn't been doing anything. It's because I've been just not doing the right thing. So you need to get your your coal like this, and that will give me my two pieces of raw carbon mesh. And then you place those raw carbon mesh in there, and that will compress up nicely. So now I need uh, bronze. So you get bronze. Um, how many pieces of bronze do I need? Probably just the one, I think. Uh, no, I'm probably going to need double that. Oh, I don't have enough stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to start off with this going a bit of a sort of a... Well, it's not really a half assed but it's going to be definitely not completely... What a waste. Um, I'm probably going to need more refined iron anyway, so I might as well just grab my uh, iron. Where's my iron? Where's my iron? Where's my iron? Ah, there it is. Get my iron dust. Chuck it all in. May as well just cook it all up. Silver. I thought that was tin. Oh, I didn't even read it. Where's my tin? Three pieces of tin. Three pieces is just not going to be enough by any stretch of the imagination. So, um, that's going to be better. Not sure if it's going to be sufficiently good though. Let's throw these nine in there and 
hopefully they'll cook up nicely. Why did iron cook into iron? Stop doing that. Okay, this is definitely going backwards. There we go, refined iron. That's the way it should be working. Throw my charcoal in. Hopefully this has now powered itself up. Excellent. So now I need uh, my refined iron to be ready. Hopefully that won't take too long. And then I'll be ready to make my mixed metal ingots. And then I'll be ready to compress those up and make my first advanced machine. Fifteen, that'll definitely do. So what do we need? We need uh, bronze, tin, which gives me copper. Uh, copper and tin, which gives me bronze. I need... Hopefully this is the correct order for it. Yes, it is. Excellent. Now compress these two things up. And that will get me the basis of what I'm going to need to start with for my machine. Then I'm going to need another electronic circuit. So I don't want to break my only macerator. So, wire. Perfect. Probably going to need to make some other stuff as well in the, in the very near future. I think the fact that I'm so far behind with industrial craft is going to make getting this whole thing set up rather difficult especially trying to get it all done in one episode. I think that once again this is going to have to be a really long episode. I don't want to do another really long episode. I'm going to need to use my machine block to make my macerator. Ah, whoa, whoa, bad thing. How did you get past the fence? Cut it out. Um, wow, I was totally distracted now. He even made me drop my stuff. Come over the... Whoa. Wrong button. Let's try this again. Okay, we need cobble, cobble. Circuit, and now I need three flint. Three flint. Perfect. One macerator. Now I need to place that macerator with some other things. Uh, here, you'll have to do. So we need another machine block. So we need a machine block. Then we need that. Then we need that. And it gives one advanced machine block. So we need a advanced machine block, a macerator, and now I need a few more pieces of refined iron, unfortunately. Uh, four pieces, I think, is going to be enough. But I guess... I guess I'm going to end up using it anyway, so I may as well have a few more. Oop, got plenty. Okay, time to stop. Um, what else can I cook up? Must be something of value I have in here. 17 silver. At least if I cook it all up, I won't accidentally think that it's tin again. So, refined iron. Makes a rotary macerator. So now I need my rotary macerator. i um, going to put that in this chest just here. Don't let me forget that that's there. The next thing I'm going to need to make are some filters. You need to make two filters to start with. So that's going to mean I'm going to need two pistons. So we need redstone. And potentially some wood. I don't think I have enough wood. Talk about lack of preparation. Really? Come on. Don't make me sword you in the face. Oop. Why couldn't they be brain zombies? It would have been so much cooler if they were brain zombies. Uh, oh yeah, it would. Knew there was a plan I had. So we need... Lots of wood. Lots of cobble. Uh, iron. And redstone gives me my two pistons. Now I need gold. My bag. Gold must be in my bag. I need more gold than that. So once again, whoops. 
Uh, diamond. Glad I got a few diamonds. Okay, so chuck my bookshelf back in. Gonna put that last piece of gold in my bag to make sure I don't do something dumb with it. Okay, so we need just like that. Red doped wafers. Here's some I prepared earlier. Although I have way more than I need, and I'm sure now it was cobble. Perfect. Two filters. And wouldn't you just know it? Never enough room. Stop it. Stop sucking things. Uh, you, 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 whatever. Just chuck a whole heap of stuff in there. Okay, so what did I just do then? I am in my filters. Okay, so I've now got my my macerator. Now I need brass. So obviously bronze doesn't work, so I need tin again. I'm going to put one tin in my bag and hang on to that. Because I just know that I'm going to end up doing something silly if I don't. I don't think you need to space it out that way when you put it in here. Glass, 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 glass. Really? I've just totally forgotten which stuff's in my bag and which stuff's not. Okay, so we've got brass. So it's brass and glass. Make pneumatic tubes. And I've got more glass, so I may as well use all of my brass to give me 16 pneumatic tubes. So now, the question is, where am I going to lay this out? And I'm thinking, whoop, come on. Okay, nine, make sure these chunks are fully loaded. And yes, they are. I'm thinking, then just here will be perfect. So what I need to do is I need to uh, get myself a rotary macerator with some power. So I'm going to put the rotary macerator Aha! In the chest. Remember? I said no one let me forget that I put it in the chest. So I'm going to put that on the ground just here. And I have space next to it for a second one. I will totally deal with that in the event that I end up with enough materials to make a second one. Then I need a filter. Now before this filter can work, I need to make a screwdriver. Now I'm going to actually pause the recording, actually maybe I have a screwdriver already. Yep, screwdriver. Ah, oh, that's because I made some red power stuff down here. Down here? Ah, here. See? I knew I made some red power stuff somewhere. So now you are going to face that way. Perfect. Now I need some red power tubing to come off of this. And why did you go there? Snow. Typical. So now the next thing I need to do is I need to put something just here. And you might ask, well, what is it that you need to put there? And the thing that I need to put there is a chest of sorts. One of these babies. Sort of. First of all, I need to make one of these. So diamond, iron, smooth stone, all easy stuff to do. So we've got, ah, we've got the wrong button. That's what we've got. Okay, so here we go. We've got iron. Uh, we've got wood. Don't want wood. What do I want? Okay, let's try again. A diamond and a chest. Okay, I need a chest. I've got wood. That's easy. I need a diamond. I do not need to chuck all of my diamonds on the floor. I need to put some of my stuff in my bag though, because once again I am carrying way too much crap. Um, okay. So I now... What am I carrying these for? Um... Okay, back with the program, Andrew. Back with the program. Okay, I need... Let's start putting things in here so I know what I've got. Need a chest. 
should have used like the hundred other chests that I made at my other base, but I'm not going to because I forgot where I put them. Covalence dust. Okay, we need one of you, one of you, and one of you. Uh, you, and then you, and then you. What goes left and right? Smooth stone. Smooth stone, smooth stone, smooth stone. Just happens that I produced oodles of it. There we go. One alchemical chest. Now I need to use four diamonds and four pieces of obsidian. I only have two pieces of obsidian, so... Whoa! There we go. Back to having more than I need, which is perfect. So, I know, I know I've got this wrong. You might say, why do you know that you've, why do you do it if you know that you've got it wrong? And the answer is because that's just the way to do things. Okay, so we need to now get ourselves another filter. That filter needs to sit just there. But it needs to face in the downwards direction, perfect. And then we need to close the loop on this. Perfect. So now by closing the loop like that, we just need to provide power. And the way you provide power is by making red alloy. So we get three pieces of iron, one piece of charcoal, and some redstone. And so I'm going to go for the slightly less graceful than I have previously seen design. But the important thing is that it's going to work. And I'm also for right now, because I really want to demo how this thing works. And I'm really, I guess, more concerned about that upstairs working and showing you how it works than this thing just here working. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to place this timer uh, thusly. Because then I can turn it off whenever I feel like it. So we have our three red alloy ingots. And if you take three red alloy, alloy ingots and place them like that, you get some red alloy wire. Now we should be able to, by running this like this, have it connect and you should see that filter, that filter tick. And then we run it down this way. And now we have the two filters ticking in unison. Now all we need is something to actually put in them for them to work. And so the place that I'm going to find that is the nether. So I'm going to pause the video and come back when I'm much closer to finding what I want. Back soon. Okay, so, excuse me, recording. You can see that over that way is where home is. So I've traveled quite a long way and here I have found a stronghold. Some zombie spawner. Ah, I'm starting to think now that maybe this isn't a stronghold, that maybe this is some kind of better dungeon. Um, not interested in zombie spawners, I want blaze spawners. Um, it's too small to be a stronghold. Skeleton spawner? Yeah. Not... Whoa. That was lucky. Yeah, I was not expecting to find those in the nether. So, it looks like... I might mark this. Uh, better... Whoops. Better dungeon. And I'm going to pause the video and come back, hopefully, once i found something. So, back soon. Okay, everyone, um, I'm back. Um, after much, much running around and doing a giant loop around everything, I have finally found some dungeon. Uh, probably not dungeon, some stronghold. That's cool that they're just floating on gravel. 
Little do they know. So here we are. That looks like that looks like a blaze spawner. That is whoop. That is a blaze spawner. I wonder if I can whoop, that does work. That was cool. Come to me. Not cool. Did I? Yes! Two blaze rods. Um, I actually think that's enough. So, back we go. Don't want to wear out my welcome here. Whoop. Oh, well that was lucky. Often when you fall down those kind of things in the nether, it's game over. Um, here we go. Home is that way. This is how I kind of take most of my shortcuts through the nether. Sometimes when you just know it's not that far away, you've just got to you've just got to go for it. So. 140 more meters. Hopefully I don't break this pick. Come on, there's got to be a gap through here somewhere. Going, 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 come on. I think if this gets to the point where it's... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Perfect. Um, don't want to fall in the lava. Look at that. Beautiful. Don't want to catch on fire either. Back to the main world we go. Lag. Ooh. Horsey. That's cool. I mean, it's not cool that I called him a horsey, because that's pretty sad. But, now, there was that. What I needed? I think that should be what I need now. Um, keep two there. Build that crystal ore. Build that ore. Okay, where are we? Bang. Couple more. Need to repair those two while I'm at it. One, two, perfect. Come in here and check how this is going. Still doing all right. Okay, so now we have this little thing here. It's doing its thing. The next phase of the plan is to. I wasn't meant to dig out that bottom block, so I'll put that dirt back. I need to make myself a lever. Lever, 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 lever. Cobble. I think I went through this before and I had no sticks. Yep, I am once again not like, well, it only feels like it was 10 minutes ago that I'm, I'm stickless. I'm back to being stickless again, but one lever is plenty for what I need. Okay, so we go lever, you're now on. You're not going to do anything though until I take you. So where's my pickaxe? I don't know what happens if you break a generator, but there we go. What did we get? We got a generator back. Perfect. Now I'm going to just put that there for now. Because I'm planning on sticking a bat box there to absorb some of the power. But for now, copper cable. Copper cable. Copper cable. Can't be that hard to find copper cable, can it? It's looking like it's one of those things. Never mind. 
I only really need one. Uh, I might as well make it all up. I miss shift clicking. I think I'm going to have to build myself a project table. Okay, so, bam. Where'd all that charcoal go? I know I had a heap of it. Perfect. So, let's fire this machine up. And let's spin this thing up. You can see the power's going up now, the speed's going up. It's going to take it quite a while though before it actually gets anywhere. Got to make sure, yep, they're both working correctly. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is turn this off. And I just use my lever. Oh, what am I doing? I've got so many sticks. Let's make another lever. The solution shouldn't be to break things, it should be to fix things. So, fixed. Put you back where you came from. So now this design is, is it's really only half of what you would normally build if you were doing this. I'm a little, I guess, tight for room at the moment. And I'm also, I guess, not in a huge rush to make any of these things. So there's five. So now this one here is going to take two out of the time. And then we need to get this thing here to grind them up into powder. And then what will happen is this filter here will pull that powder out throw it back in here and you can see that the powder will produce more blaze rods which will then get picked up and brought over here and thrown in here and it will get ground up again and so two blaze rods which will become ten powder and that ten powder will become five blaze rods and so on and so forth except in an automated fashion and I really do need to get some power to kind of manually do that. Now each one of these will pull on average about three power. Now I intend to effectively make this thing self-sustaining. So now that I have you know, quite a bit of blaze rods in there, it's going to pull out two at a time, put them in here, and this is going to grind them up as quick as it can and then it's going to send them back. So now we go, bam, let's check this out. So you see it pulls two out, they come over, they drop down and into the slot, grinds them up, sends them out, they make more, it pulls more out, and the idea is that it should keep putting blaze powder back in faster than blaze rods are getting taken out. So you can see this number here is now six, it's now six, it's now seven, so as this speeds up to full speed, it will get faster and faster. So it's about half speed at the moment. So it's obviously going to take it a little while to get up to full speed. You can check the sound. That sh should be okay. And then the only limiting factor we're going to have is going to be this producer of power here. Now my plan for that is ingenious. Or at least I believe it's ingenious. You might go, eh, that's not genius. But right now, I think it's fantastic. And the solution is, we'll get our one of these. Mm. Nope, change my mind. The solution is going to be, we're going to put charcoal in there. We're going to get a whole stack of charcoal out. and we're going to put a whole stack of charcoal in that generator and that's going to last a really long time at least that's my game plan and I mean we're up to 37 rods in there at the moment and we're up to 53 rods in here and in case you're wondering how good a rod is let's take these 57 rods and take this one diamond and we will take out our one bookshelf. I uh, can get more nether brick later. Place our one diamond in. So you see we're about a third of a diamond at the moment. If we put 57 in, we have now turn that one diamond into 12 diamonds. And I might even go one, two, three, and make some bookcases. So you get an idea now of just how fast 
this thing can produce EMC. So in that time that I've been gone, it's already gone back up to 40. So it's currently producing... Hmm. It is currently producing an incredible amount, and it's still not even up to full speed yet. So you can see this thing here, it's just burning, it's just chugging along. What I really intend to do, because I can't be bothered making a lot of the other things, I intend to just... Oh, maybe I will. Yeah, I'm going to have to make some solar panels. Unfortunately, this macerator now has no power. So that's the obvious downside of doing what I did. And this compressor here also has no power. So in the next episode, I'm going to look at uh, replacing this generator. But certainly for now, I mean, I used one blaze rod worth of coal or something like that. And I just, like, filled it just completely full. I mean, that's going to run and produce, you know, better than a stack of diamonds. And it's just going to keep doing its thing. And I mean, that really wasn't an incredible effort. So the next thing I can do is I can take some of these and say, let's go throw half a stack of blaze rods in. And you watch the EMC just build up. It's just going to be just crazy how much goes in there. Look at that rapidly filling up, rapidly filling up. I actually think that I'm going to end up probably... I have the potential to believe that I'm going to overfill these two things here. Because if you look at you get 36, so that's 18 Vs and 18 per one. So 30 by 30, 900. Oh no, it'll fit. It's going to fill it, but it's going to fit. And then over here we can see that, wow, that's almost full. Um, ah, ran out of depleted crystals. So we'll grab our crystals out. Why do we... Why are you not... Hmm. Some kind of issue happened just then. So 14 earthen crystals. I could just about make another one. Another crystal ore sort of thing downstairs. So that's going to keep doing its business. No more. I think I'm totally out of depleted crystals. Yep, totally out of them. Never mind. As you can see, I've got a a pretty good setup going here. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there you go. Oh, spider. I totally heard that guy coming. I'm going to get him with my super jumpy boots and my emerald sword. So yeah, so as I said right at the very beginning of this episode, um, I'm unfortunately going to be away for a little while now. It's going to be around about two weeks before I can make another video. It probably won't be quite that long but it's going to be around about that long. So that's why I've been doing a few episodes that have been a little bit longer lately, just to give you guys, I guess, some some good videos to watch until the point where I have to go away. So I am going to be doing some, some gameplay stuff in the background um, while I'm away. I'm probably going to be focusing on some of the mod packs that I prefer to sort of film less of and play more of so there'll probably be some more terra firma craft and there'll probably be some more um, solitary craft just because I don't play as much of that on camera as I play off camera I will probably uh, rain I was gonna say I will probably also do just a little bit of hero craft Ooh. Zombies, 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 zombies. I need a sword. Sword. I want my good sword. Whoa! Give me your brain. That'd be good. Skull, you're not a brain. Whoa! Wrong button. zombie brain okay so yeah what I was saying is I'm probably going to do maybe just a little bit of work with the village off camera but generally I'm going to try and keep most of this hero craft let's play on camera because I definitely think it's it's a much more exciting pack where there's lots of things going on constantly and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying going through and I guess teaching people different things about the mod and other sort of stuff like that so 
going to try and do as much of hero craft as I can on camera. Um, I want these covers away because they're getting in the way. Um, bad industrial craft wire. What was I looking for? Bookcases, bookcases, bookcases. There we go. A full stack of them. Um, research value 10, research value 8. So that's actually worth more. Um, you are research value 20. Uncommon forbidden artifact. Worth 20 as well. I, I really want to get this zombie brain, so... Come back down here. Get all this stuff out of there. Chuck you on the floor for now. So we want uncommon brain, and that one, and zombie brain. 56% chance, that's good. Yes! Brain in a jar, moderate. Oh, and I didn't lose those either. That's awesome. Come on, brain in a jar. What a way to finish. What a way to just go out with a bang. It's like, bam! Zombie brain. I have no brains though, so I still can't actually make one yet. Um, you can go there. Yes! So now I need soul fragments and glass and zombie brain. How can I make soul fragments? Uh, S-O-U-L. Come on, recipe. I need five pieces of soul sand in a dark infuser. Um, whoops. I don't think I have any soul sand, so that's obviously that's going to be a bummer. Um, oh, I have one soul sand. What was the EMC of that? 49, hey? Um, I still have no brain, so that's obviously not going to work for me. But I could just throw this in there, and I could end up with heaps. Actually, speaking of ending up with heaps, look at that. I've got so, so, so many stacks. And like I said, this machine is just going to... It's just going to eventually run out. And when it runs out... You know, that's absolutely fine. I can just start it up again by throwing some coal and get it, letting it get itself slowly up to speed, and then it'll be good to go again. So, I mean, I have an excellent setup at the moment where I'm getting probably more things than I really need, but I'm definitely getting all the things that I want. Um, technically, I think, what I was just doing over here with these blaze rods and stuff is a bit of an exploit. You know, if you even really want to get to the state where you can exploit, I could feed these blades rods that are coming in, and I'm getting so many of them back into here. But I just burnt a whole stack of coal worth of blaze rod, and you only get 1.5 coal out of it when you actually burn it. So that's a that's a really bad deal. But yeah, so I guess just to wrap things up before I've been going for too long, um, I'm going to be away for about two weeks, so I'll still respond to people's comments and things like that. I'm just not going to be able to post any videos. So thank you very much for watching. Have a really good 4th of July break and, and a, I guess a good time off if you're going anywhere. A stocky out.